Peter Markworth, a meteorologist at Australia's Bureau of Meteorology, told News.com. Oh that the phenomenon is rarely seen as it relies on a specific combination of conditions. The rare phenomenon occurs when sunlight diffracts through a high density of ice crystals which bend the light, creating a stunning color, said Markworth. Very specific angles are needed to see the colors, so the position and height of the storm, the angle of the sun and the size of the ice crystals all came together to give Darwin a rare, perfect view of the iridescence, says Peter Markworth, a meteorologist at Australia's Bureau of Meteorology. Markworth compared the phenomenon to when soap bubbles appear to have a rainbow-like iridescent sheath under light. He said that this type of cloud is called pileus and forms when water vapor condenses and freezes into uniform ice crystals due to rapid updraft from a storm. Very specific angles are needed to see the colors, so the position and height of the storm, the angle of the sun and the size of the ice crystals all came together to give Darwin a rare, perfect view of the iridescence, says Markworth. The top end, a region which encompasses the northernmost part of Australia's Northern Territory, regularly experiences cloud formations that cannot be observed anywhere else. For example, the morning glory cloud is a tunnel-like cloud that can stretch for 1,000 kilometers, 620 mile, from one side of the Gulf of Carpentaria to the other. At times, rows of these clouds can appear in the sky and tumble across the sky rapidly. Every spring, Gliders from across Australia gather in Burktown, northern Queensland to glide on the morning glory. <laughs>